twice as many girls and boys drop out of sport by the age of 14. It's pretty shocking, but I'm not surprised. Because I feel like it was around that age that there was this line where you had to kind of like choose as a girl, like whether or not this was what you really wanted to go for. Even within my friend group, I think I was at 14. I was probably the only one who did sport outside of school. I loved playing football. I loved any type of sport. So for me, it was something that I was never going to like leave behind and it also made me feel good I think like being mm. fit healthy you feel better I always had good role models in my my older brothers and my sister they all played sports so I think like mm. having that environment probably helped I think it's important to have someone to turn to for help and for advice maybe if they have that mentor or role model then maybe they can help with some of the reasons why the girls are finding it difficult to continue sport. 94% of women that hold C-suite jobs have or continue to play sport. Nadine Kessler, Chief of Women's Football at UEFA. Wanda Bolando as well. Really successful in football and now afterwards. In Norway there's the football president which is Lise Klavnes. She played football at the highest level in Norway. Sport makes you quite resilient and, and like determined and that could almost help you in like a business career. It's like working together as well, part of a team, you know, leadership as well, if you're at the top of the company or whatever. You've got to know how to dictate, you know, making goals and aims to targets to mm hit. -hmm. And like being structured in your work to yeah. reach a goal and yeah, as you say, work together. Maybe we'll have C-suite jobs <laughs> <laughs> when we finish up, girls. <laughs>